Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to try out Toon Squid for the first time. As an avid Procreate user, I can't wait to see how easy it is to transition from one platform to another. Stick around as we dive into the world of Toon Squid and create a makeshift walk cycle animation together. Alright, here we are in Procreate. As you can see, I've created a character for a music video I've put off way too long. This is who we'll be animating. Procreate has been my go-to for digital art, but today we're exploring Toon Squid, so let's get started. So I've already installed Toon Squid on my device, and opening it up, the interface looks quite similar to Procreate. It's familiar, which makes it a great starting point and the transition seamless. Just like in Procreate, Toon Squid provides a wide range of tools to work with. From brushes to layers, it feels like I'm right at home. But what sets Toon Squid apart is it's focused on animation. It's designed specifically for creating captivating animations, making the process much easier and more intuitive. Now that we have the character in Toon Squid, let's set up the timeline for our animation. It's just as intuitive as Procreate, but with the added advantage of being optimized for animation workflows. With dedicated animation features and a user-friendly timeline interface, Toon Squid makes the entire process a breeze. Currently, I'm utilizing Toon Squid's keyframing tool to determine the motion of the character's bounce. The timing is crucial in this process to achieve a realistic effect. Since I didn't animate a proper walk cycle for this character, I'm aiming to replicate a familiar feeling by creating a makeshift version of it as she walks across the screen. To create the walk cycle animation, I use Toon Squid's symbol tool. The symbol tool in Toon Squid is a powerful feature that allows you to create reusable animations. By converting a set of elements or frames into a symbol, you can easily duplicate or manipulate the animation as a single entity. This not only saves time, but also ensures consistency and enables the creation of complex animations with ease. With the symbol tool, you can maintain the integrity of your animations and effectively apply them to different parts of your artwork, enhancing the overall animation workflow in Toon Squid. I created a bouncing or up and down movement of the character. This allowed me to reuse the animation and give the illusion of the character walking by moving that symbol across the screen. It's a fantastic way to save time and maintain consistent motion throughout the walk cycle. I've also positioned her outside of the canvas, mirroring the initial setup. This creates the illusion of her walking past the table where the couple is seated. This is one of the advantages of using Toon Squid since I didn't have this as an option while animating scenes in Procreate. I realized that I mistakenly included the image of the background instead of the completed animation of the background I created in Procreate. I made that quick adjustment and now I can see the scene really coming together. Another fantastic feature I've noticed with Toon Squid is its ability to loop the animation. When stretching the video or animation clip on the timeline, it creates a continuous and smooth loop. To give our animation a more natural and fluid motion, let's add some ease in and ease out effects. Unlike in Procreate, Toon Squid lets us manipulate the keyframes and adjust the timing curves effortlessly. By applying these adjustments to the symbol's translation, we can refine the character's walk cycle, making it even more convincing. With our walk cycle animation completed, it's time to wrap things up. Toon Squid's animation focused tools make the final touches a breeze. The platform streamlines the export process, allowing us to easily share our animations as GIFs or video files. 
with Toon Squid, the entire animation journey becomes straightforward and enjoyable. That's a wrap on our first experience with Toon Squid. I must say I'm pleasantly surprised by how similar it is to Procreate, but with the added benefit of being designed specifically for animation. Toon Squid's focus on creating captivating animations along with its symbol tool makes it a powerful tool for artists. If you're a Procreate user looking to optimize your animation process, Toon Squid might just be the perfect fit for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more tutorials or first impressions, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. As always, feel free to leave any comments or questions down below. Until next time, peace. Toon Squid was a one-time $10 purchase in the App Store matching the price of Procreate, and I must say, it is very well worth it. I'm a self-taught independent 2D animator and my tool of choice is the iPad and the iPad alone. So subscribe if you'd like to see what great things you can do as a 2D animator with just an iPad and a reasonable amount of caffeine.